Hey everybody, it's so great that you could join us again for another slot car racing video. Of course, my name is Trevor Selescu, as you know, and once again we're down here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, just starting off a brand new 2020 race season, and it's going to be a really cool one. We're going to do a street racing this league, so for the next two months we will be down here at our tracks making some amazing world street racings. <laughs> so I got some good news that, that uh, all of you will love hearing and this is a great big thank you to everybody because as you may recall like for since February of 2019 I've been doing this uh, giveaway contest. Now I've got a goal of course to make 5,000 subscribers over on the Madcap Romanian channel and thanks to everyone's help we originally started this contest last February-ish, and we started at 3,700 subscribers on our channel. Well, as of today, January 8th, 2020, we have gotten up to 4,500. So we are 500 away from the 5,000, but look at this. We have gone up, there it is, 800 brand new subscribers right to this channel and that's amazing and if i had my hat on today i'd take my hat off to all you for helping us get this far and a great big thank you we are very close to giving this thing away and as you know the more subscribers we get the more we win and we can all win so i want to be a winner and i know that you guys want to be winners and with our combined effort we can all win and that is one of the great things so pretty soon 500 more subscribers away and i will be giving away this great tow truck from carrera with of course the drop down hatch that you can or <laughs> gate that you can hook any car onto and the horn and the flashing lights and everything else that's cool i know you guys have been waiting and i thank you for your patience i mean 12 months and we're still 500 away but the goal is to get that 500 more and then some lucky winner can get this and that will be at the video link coming up at the end of this video so once again i thank you for all the effort and the help and now without further ado let's check out this amazing video that i'm gonna make so you know today we are gonna build one of those great tracks that i have been waiting to rebuild now i built this thing twice already but i was always short track pieces and well you know how frustrating that is when you're trying to build something right out of the instructions and you're missing track pieces it's like oh will i ever be able to build this thing well i couldn't get it all right this time but i got even closer and that is thanks to our good friend mario baskin who sent me 10 count of 10 pieces five and five <laughs> of slot car straight track now sadly i discovered that i actually need another 16 straight tracks but you know mark he's like racing around here on our slot car tracks he's he's been there quite a lot he had eight pieces of straights again five if i had three extra fingers you know and uh but we were able to get quite far on that track even though it's not fully done but it is the 1966 Batman track as seen on the popular old TV show. Now where I'm missing the tracks is right in this loop here. It's a little shorter, but I now know how many pieces extra that I need to get it this curve to get right to the edge. So we're going to investigate that soon right here on this track that I know that you can build with utter confidence after I show you how it's all done. And I'll show you where the missing track pieces are and the elevations because I realized that I hadn't done that. So pretty soon we'll be racing our streetcar race league. And this is a car I'm racing, the Camaro Concept. It's, it's a difficult car to race because it's got this big tall back end and everybody likes to, to ram, you know, cone-nosed Ferraris underneath this thing and knock it right off the track. But you know a funny thing about this? When I got this car, I, I took it out of my, um, you know, in the back here, I've got a collection of cars that I use. You see the uh, guide keel here? It was missing. I don't know what happened. It was not even in the car. So 
Luckily, Carrera, of course, supplied an extra one in their extra parts in the box in the little side compartment. So I was able to get an extra guide kill. So now I can race my good old Chevrolet Camaro. All you American classic guys. So anyway, we're going to take a look at our 1966 Batman track. Almost built fully correct. Missing eight pieces of track. <laughs> but closer to the actual 1966 com concept. So I'll have to order another 16 pieces of straight track so I don't borrow Mark's track anymore. But anyway, let's go down to the table and let's check this thing out. Our first track of 2020, yay! All right, Bat fans, here's another great track from Monster Hobbies. All right, anyway, as you can see, this is a, a big rectangle. These are four four by eight tables all put together in a rectangular form. So you get eight feet going that way and 16 feet going this way. Now I've added this, these little tables here. They are two foot wide by four feet long. They just add in the extra little bit because when uh, they designed this track for the Batman series, of course the track back in the 60s was smaller. But there is one good thing about this. Every curve in here, of course is four lane, right? But every curve is a radius one and radius two. So you have a for example, right here, a 1-60 and two 2-30s. So there isn't any like complicated, you know, 4-15s or 3-30s or a 2-30 inner with a 3-30 outer, you know, any of that stuff. This is all just the basic curves that you would have got back in the 60s. And that's what makes it fit on these tables so nicely. So as we go around the track, of course, you can see all these extra loops and crossovers. It's elevated. It goes up about eight inches, seven, eight inches up there, something like that. And then, see, I've used the uh, Carrera, the Carrera track boxes here as extra support. They're nice and wide. They can actually span across the four lanes. So that's a good place for support for you guys. And if you look here, we have 180 degrees, which touches the edge of the table here, comes a little over the table. So really, if you wanted to make this thing more fully secure, um, get extra plywood and I would go like a foot foot around the perimeter on here so that your tables would be five feet wide and then you know eight feet long instead so it would be uh, 10 by 16 or 10 by yeah whatever <laughs> add in an extra foot over here you cut this table down right there just so it supports this curve here Anyway, all right, so let's get over to a good place here. So we've got our start finish gate. And as you can tell, this curve is almost off the table. You got about, hmm, I'd say about six inches right there. It's just as a reference. Uh, and of course, right where we were, just come back here quickly. You have this curve here, the 180 degrees. And like I said, it's over a little bit from that edge, but you can see that it's it's a good starting point. Just basically put a 180 degree curve right on this edge. Okay, now let's go over to our start finish gate because that's where the action really is. And of course, I'm gonna go over the same sort of boring material here, but you need to know it. <laughs> All right, so you got your start finish gate. It comes in every career digital set and you'll also get twin wireless controllers if you buy the wireless set. We like to use the wireless because, you know, when you got a track this big, right, and you're corded out from here, everybody's standing like right around here and nobody wants to stand right there when their car flies off over there. So with the wireless, you just grab this controller and it's nice and free, you know, woo! Free as a ghost, free as a bird, free bird by Leonard Skinner. Check it out with your iTunes. No, anyway. So let's say you're standing right over here and a car comes flying right at you. Well, you can just grab that car like that and you can put it over and put it on any track because that's the beauty of digital. It doesn't matter where it goes. Just as long as you catch it before it hits the ground and blows up into a million pieces. No, it won't do that. Carrera cars are built nice and tough. Tougher than Arnold Schwarzenegger. But anyway. <laughs> All right. The new confident you for 2020. Okay, so we got our start finish gate. Then we have this expansion start finish gate, which is fairly relatively new piece from Carrera. Just plugs in. As you can tell here on the edge, you've got your, well, maybe you can't tell. Well, you got your power 
feeds in here. So this track basically has some of those plugs into the other one. So now you got your four lanes and it's inversed here without this hanging over here so that the cars will go down the track that way as they would have in 1966 on the Batman show instead of going backward as they did not do. So anytime you buy wireless controller expansions you'll get these directional power things. Same with your digital tower here. Get these extra tracks. So starting from our start finish gate we have our start finish gate <laughs> dual then we've got two of these power lead tracks to hook up our wireless controllers and then two single straights so right here in this little section you have six pieces of track now after you get out of here you have another six pieces of straight which go here so there's nothing special about those straights they're just straights but underneath here i have the box for the curves here, 20572. I've also got a neighbor that is downstairs slamming doors and another one that is banging cars. So anyway, um, body shop. So we got all those boxes under there, as you can see. This keeps this thing up at about two inches. Now here we have to go a little higher because cars are gonna pass under the bridge. So I've also got the multi-start lane box sitting under here on top of another track box, which gives you about three inches. Another one over there. Anyway, so here we have a 1-30 and a 2-30. And this is the one where I have, if you go under here, you can see those crossover wires. That, of course, going from here to here and there to there and da da da. Gives a little extra power boost from your control tower over there. Now here I've got the center cross going. The center cross and a single straight and a single straight. The crosses are coming from your expansion set number three. Now here we've got one, two, three, four straights. So in total this section here from that little curve is six straights. Then we come down this great big curve. This is where we actually start dropping elevation. So we go three inch and then these are two inches under here. Then we've got an inch, half inch, and quarter inch. Now these are just regular pieces of wood that uh, my dad, when he was still alive, he cut them in my bandsaw. And this is like plywood, three quarter inch. It's just what we had around the house at the time. So anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, one dash sixties. And these you can find in any of your sets. And of course, order more from Carrera. And then the outer ones are 2-30s, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of those to get that drop. Now as you notice, this curve actually does a figure 8 here, or half of a figure 8. So then we've got two more straights side by side, and then under here I've got two, what are they, right hand curves? Oh, sorry, right hand switches. So if you take Pretend that's not there, you would see six pieces of track. Okay, then we have, going back this way, a 1-30 and a 2-30. So you can actually see you're going this way on the top and back this way on the bottom. Very cool. <laughs> now these tracks under here are the ones from Mario, my friend in the States. He's a great DJ. Check him out on Facebook, Mario Baskin. Um, anyway, so I've got six straights from Mario sitting under here. Now, the track Mario gave me is a older Evolution set. So, you know, like these ones have red clips that lock them in. Those ones don't. So they tend to flex side by side. But anyway, that's all right. I got them pretty much locked down here. So in here, I've got Carrera's new hairpin curve which is uh, nice. They, they wouldn't have had this in the 66 Batman track, so if you want to be as accurate as you can, you just use curves like that, 1-60s. But anyway, we have one quarter piece here, because this underneath is one quarter extra, you know, just to get the, the chicane part happening. So around the outside, again, this is another um, 180 degree curve, so there should be six 2-30s going underneath there. Now, this support here is seven inches high. That's the highest you really need to go on this track. Uh, oh, and now if I had the other eight pieces of straight, this curve would touch out here. 
Now, as you can tell, there's nothing here to link the track to. So maybe this is actually my best bet for this track. Just know that with another eight pieces, you would be matching. This is where you need that other half inch coming out here along the table edge, or maybe you could even put a, you know, a little clamp on extension thing on here just to support that. Anyway, actually it would work because you would have a support here somehow and another support there. So yeah, it should all, should all work. I got confidence. You, you should have some confidence too. <laughs> anyway, under there, that is also seven inches, those supports. And I got these styrofoam blocks under here standing upright that are seven inches supporting the track. Uh, okay, so now this is where we have to move the camera around a bit. Okay, so you've just come out of the hairpin curve that way. So now, thanks to Mario again, one, two, three, four straights underneath. And then I have two chicanes from expansion set number three sitting there. Two crossings from expansion number, <laughs> expansion set number three, pardon me. And then here I've got four straights, one, two, three, four. So that whole strip underneath is one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 pieces of track coming all the way across to here. Now we get into this 180 degree curve that I was mentioning before. And of course this is made up of one, three 1-60s one and six 2-30s. Now we're going to go up, up to our top level. And again, I've got two straights here, which are the power track, another version of it, with the wires crisscrossing under here. And then two regular straights. Now I have a bridge section. This is another Carrera specialty track. You could buy one bridge uh, for this track. And as you notice here, this track is actually heated in the factory and bent up and over. There's, there's four pieces here. So there's two that go up and there's two that bend over. Oh boy. <laughs> and now here, this should be about a six inch elevation. Anyway, so then here we have two left or right hand switches. I don't know, there's, there's a set of right and a set of left. I always get them confused, but they're up here. And then here I got a 90 degree curve. Now in order to make a 90 degree curve, you need one 1-60 one and one 1-30. One now the other, you could also go and use three 1-30s if you have them. And on the outside here, we've got three 2-30s. And now this is a shortened version, but we've got two four regular straights so four straights there and then four one quarter sections there to make a half track not like in world war ii but <laughs> but half of one of these sections and then that curve of course another 180 degrees so three um one dash 60s and th six two dash 30s and then here we come down with again four one-quarter sections, two per side, and four straight sections, nine-inch straights, two per side. And then we have to use our imagination a bit here. But basically, that curve at the back is split in half, with the top being here and the bottom being there. So again, another 90 under these switches, Oops, which is like that. So that is a 1-30 and a 1-60 and three 3-30s. Three and under here, I've got another seven inch um, support. I'm pressing the phone with my butt. Okay, put that to the side there. Uh, yeah, so we come down here and then I've got another four uh, regular straights under that. Now note where this is. This will not hit a car. Or a car will not hit it. Unless, of course, it comes down that corner pretty fast. <laughs> we shall see tonight. And then I've got more styrofoam blocks under there. Supporting all that at about between 7 and 8 inches. Maybe that one's 6. I can't remember. The 6 and 7 inch at that height is so close together. Who can tell? 
Okay, so here we have two one-quarter sections, and then here is a 60-degree curve with a 1-60 and two 2-30s. And then, of course, two one-quarter pieces. Now, under here, I've got a double-crossing switch. If I own two of these, I would put another one here, but I don't. So there's a double-cross and two switch, uh, straights, and then we get into this. This is a 360-degree curve. And this curve, it's tough to set it up. Um, you need pins going laterally this way. Anytime you do an elevation, put pins in this way because it'll lift your full, full track up and you won't have like this piece will lift up out of the way if you don't have the connecting pins in. So here we have 360 degrees. So that is actually six 1-60s and 12 2-30s to go all the way up from underneath there and then across the top here here we have one two three straight sections and here I'm doing a what is it left hand inner to outer curve switch on the inside because these are all 1-60 curves so I got that there and then another 1-60 this makes 120 degrees up here and four 2-30s. And then to connect it all to the start-finish gate, we have two one-quarter sections. So when all of that is said and done, when I've run out of breath, <laughs> when I'm walking backwards and trying not fall out the window, there is the 1966 Batman track. Oh yes, I think I forgot to mention these elevations under here. So unlike this side where all the elevations are even, seven inches, this side drops. So right there where I'm pointing, you've got uh, six inches. And then if you go under here, that's four inches. And then down there is two inches. And then at the very bottom here, I got a half inch. So that's the elevations to drop that section down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great track build, and I wish you great success on building this thing. I know you can build it with pure confidence and great skill, because, you know what? When I built this thing, I had to go back and watch my own old videos on how to build it, and I actually found a better way to do it. And, of course, with me showing you all the track and everything, it is very easy for you to recreate this and impress all your friends, because, really, that's what you want to do is you want to have the best slot car race track week after week. And with my help and me showing you how to build the Batman track, you're sure to impress everybody and everybody that comes to your place to race will have the best time of their lives. So again, I wish to thank you all for watching this amazing video, for helping me over on Patreon with a dollar a month, just so you can unlock all the other 66 tracks or however many I built. I built so many, I don't even remember. It's insane. We've got like, it's insane. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> we have Le Mans. We have Monaco. We got this new Batman track I'm uploading. We've got uh, Spa Francorchamps. We've got, man, so many. Sochi Autodrome, Suzuka Japan. Man, these are exciting tracks. And I know that you can build them with ease, as easy as you built this thing, as easy as you could build anything with my guidance, of course. So visit us on Patreon, chip in that dollar. What's a dollar, man? It, it's, it's, it's mustard on your McDonald's hamburger. That's all it is, really. So, you know, why put it there when you can learn all this great stuff? So, again, thank you for watching this video. And until next time, happy slot car racing.